Hey there, in this first video of the series, let's create the project. Choose empty activity, name it Ojo Recorder. Make sure the language is set to Kotlin and API is 28. Hit finish. And while the project is generating, let's examine what you're gonna do in this video. So this is the main UI. We're gonna try to make these three buttons here with the resources, with their ripple effects and all, and a text view here for the timer. Let's dive into it. First, let's create some colors for later usage. In the resource folder, values, select color, copy paste this one and rename it orange set it to f45 11e now copy paste another one name it gray this one should be set to ec three times copy paste the last one set it to gray dark and set it to 65 actually we can stop at three times and copy paste this one rename it to gray dark disabled you'll see later why we need this and set it to 8f the last one we need to set is the text color i'd like to have all my text elements having the same color. I'll define it here and set it in the theme XML file. Name it color text and set it to 28. Okay, now close this and open the theme folder if you have it, because here I have two themes by default and there's, they're put in the themes folder. Now this is the normal or standard theme, add a new item and select uh, text color, set it to color text we just defined. Copy this and paste it in the dark theme if you have one. Okay, we're done with the colors. Now let's head to the layout file. Here, let's switch this to the timer. I'd like the text size to be set to 56 SP. And give it an ID and set it to text view timer, TV timer. Okay, now let's have our buttons. The easiest way to align views in a single group is to wrap them inside a linear layout. So let's add it. Make sure it's match parent and wrap content. I want it to center everything horizontally and vertically. So set gravity to center. Set orientation to horizontal and let's attach this to the bottom of the screen and give it some bottom margin. Okay, now inside of it, add an image button. This one should have size of 56 dp. Let's create a dimension resource from it. Name it button size and use it here the height okay give it an id this is for the delete button and we need some resources so in the drawable we'll need a drawable for the delete button so right click uh, new vector asset uh, select the clip art and look for clear 
case like this one and here the edges are sharp I like them to be round hit OK rename this to IC delete and set the size to 32 for the color let it black we'll deal with it later next finish okay now let's create another one for the list button so here look for menu select this one set it to round okay rename it IC list and same thing 32 dps for the record button a round red background with the ripple effect will do it so create a new drawable resource select ripple instead of selector and name it IC record hit ok now here we need a ripple effect or ripple color set color to ripple the default ripple color inside of it add an item and this item should have shape this shape should be oval and it should have a solid color set to orange okay that is the record button now when we hit the record button we should see a pause button too so let's create this resource too vector assets here pause select this one and make it round hit ok change the color this time and set it to white name it to IC pause leave it at 24 next finish the other thing is the done button when you start recording the list button here should become a done button so let's create this look for done it's like this one make it round okay I see done set the size to 32 next finish okay now let's set some colors for the delete button set the color tint to gray dark okay close this and copy paste it because we need a disabled button and enabled one the disabled is because when we start recording when we start the first screen there is nothing yet to delete so this button should be disabled and we should be able to see it visually so refactor and here instead of gray dark select gray dark disabled and leave everything else as is now for the done button switch the color to gray dark and for the list button same thing gray dark and that's it for the buttons now let's set the source here and for the delete set it to delete disabled start now the thing is I'd like my button to be a circle with a ripple effect so we can just copy paste the record one and rename it to IC ripple then change the color from orange to gray okay now close this and as a background set the resource we just created I see ripple okay now let's just copy and paste this here rename it to list or button list and for the resource select button list okay also paste it here for the done button even that we need to hide it at first so let's hide it visibility set to gone okay 
now one last thing is the record button so name this button record and the size should be bigger than the others because it's a central button set it to 66 same thing for the height 66 and we don't need a source we just need the background and set it to IC record okay let's give it some margin start and end set it to 20 dp copy paste it and switch start to end now we have it actually let's give it some more space here 30 30 okay it's a little bit better okay great let's see how it looks like on the app launch it and wait okay now it's ready we have our buttons and I don't like the ripple effect on this one because the theme color is set to something so let's actually change the ripple color in the theme get an item select ripple color and let's just uh, create a or use the gray dark disabled and run it now it looks better one last thing before we're done with this let's just remove this top bar here don't need it so in the theme set it to no action bar and while we're here let's also change the, the status bar color and switch the theme to the light one so add a new item for window light status bar set to true and here set the color to to color and give it status color we don't have it yet so let's create it copy paste this one paste it here name it to status color and select uh, select some clear color and copy paste these lines paste them in the night mode and of course change the theme to no action bar run this and let's see how it looks like okay it's better so that's it for this video in the next one we'll deal with the permissions to start recording see you then